Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again, and today I'm here with the NVIDIA Shield TV console, and I wanted to show you guys some MAME games running on this unit. Now, they run amazingly on this. I use a, an app called TV Launcher that just brings me to a screen here where I can put all of my side-loaded emulators so I don't have to go into settings, apps, and find them from there. They just get listed here. It's a little easier to navigate. And it's a great setup just to find all of your side-loaded apps. Today I'm going to be using MAME for Droid. And I've already programmed my controller. And I've set up all of my buttons. And I've loaded some ROMs on here. So first up, we're going to start with Knights of the Round. So I'll hit my start button, I'll insert a few coins here, and I'll just be Arthur. King Arthur. Now my favorite type of game is a beat-em-up game like this. I really wish they would make more. Um, newer games like this and the old, old X-Men beat-em-ups. There we go. Get some sound in here. Now a cool little thing I actually... For some reason, last night I was testing this game out, and I can load up another controller and play all three players at one time. And how did I do that? Let me do this. Okay, well I guess th I can't do it. Somehow I was able to insert coins on each of the other players. There we go. There we go. Now I have all three players and I'm controlling all of them so I can really kick some ass. Now. Insert a coin, get him back. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna move on to another game, so I'm just gonna press my start button. We will try Punisher, which is another awesome beat em up game. But as you can see, up in the top right hand corner we have the frames per second listed and I'm definitely choosing the Punisher Nick Fury's a badass but
this is definitely 60 frames per second full speed MAME emulation and every game that I have tested so far has worked beautifully just like these games are working so I'm gonna do a test another video on two-player MAME games. I'll hook up another Bluetooth controller to this unit, set it up, and see how two players works here. I'm sure it'll be fine. This thing is the best Android console that I have ever dealt with. It is amazing. All right, I'm gonna go to another game. X-Men. I was going to do Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but we'll do X-Men. If I use my right stick in these menus, I get a mouse cursor. Oh man, come on. Hit the wrong button. This game had some pretty awesome music. Everybody likes Wolverine. I really like using Colossus or Nightcrawler. I'm gonna go with Storm this time though. In the 21st century. Really? Holy monkeys, I forgot how hard this was. I spent a lot of money in the arcade playing this. Gosh. This is a awesome game to have. Oh, yeah. There we go. Same thing. Now I guess my controller is set up differently. A little... Um, I have it set up incorrectly right now, so I'm able to use all characters. I should only be able to insert my coin into the player one slot, but for some reason I'm able to do all four slots, which isn't bad. Got all four players on screen now. Oh my God. And it's running at 60 frames, so that's pretty awesome. Pyro.
sweet. So four players on screen at the same time, 60 frames per second. This MAME emulator on the Nvidia Shield runs amazingly. I'm just gonna back out to the main menu here. Appreciate you guys watching. If you have any requests for emulators or games to play on any emulators, just let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I appreciate you guys watching and thanks.